Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd and welcome to Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. The Fallout game that nobody talks about. The Fallout game we all pretend never happened. So much so, in fact, that sitting at home right now, many of you are thinking, wait, hang on, what's this? What's Fallout Brotherhood of Steel? I've never heard of this. And uh, if you haven't, let's just say... There's a good reason for that. There are many people in this world who don't want you to know Fallout Brotherhood of Steel ever happened. Gather round, children, for I am going to tell you a tale. Once upon a time, there was a company called Interplay, a video game developer and publisher. And if you just wrote down everything about them on paper, you would naturally conclude they must have been one of the greatest video game companies of all time. They had as one of their in-house teams, Black Isle Studio or Obsidian as we know them today. They also had a really good relationship with the young Bioware and published some of their earliest games. This was a company that was just spitting out classics and new IP like nobody's business. 1997, they just invent Fallout. 1998, they publish Baldur's Gate because why not just invent those two IPs back to back? So I know what you're thinking. John, the biggest problem this company must have faced was surely, was there a bank vault big enough to hold all their money? And on that front, you'd be wrong. The opposite was true. Interplay was skirting on the edge of bankruptcy. Now, you might be slightly confused as to how a company that had uh, so much talent to draw upon could possibly be almost bankrupt. And uh, some unkind things uh, could be said about some of these strategic decisions uh, made by the company's leadership. And uh, there was absolutely an element of bad luck too. But let's focus on the bit we can actually put some real hard numbers on. And that is the core problem that their core teams and most talented developers were absolutely focused on making PC games. Now that might not sound like a big deal today, but you've got to remember back at this point in history, the PC gaming market is a lot smaller. And more specifically, it's not where the game industry is growing. Our story at this point is somewhere around 2001. The PlayStation over the last few years has become the best-selling video game console of all time by a significant margin, and its successor, the PlayStation 2, is well on track to overtake it. The PS2, in fact, to this day, remains the best-selling video game console of all time. On top of that, Microsoft just entered the industry. No one's 100% sure how the Xbox is going to do, but the last time a major company entered, it was Sony, and, well, we just said what happened with the PlayStation. If you want to be successful and you want to make money in video games, uh, console gaming, that's where you need to be, damn it. You see, they weren't just developing PC games, uh, they were developing very specifically PC games. The sort of games uh, you can't just port over to console. Hardcore RPGs uh, that were designed uh, for a keyboard and mouse. You can't take Fallout 1 or Fallout 2 and put them on PS2. It just doesn't work. And thus, at some point, someone came up with the idea. What if we take Interplay's most famous IP and make more accessible console games out of it, with an RPG underpinning in the background? It wasn't the worst idea in the world ever. And indeed, in 2001, they proved the principle. They took Baldur's Gate and they turned it into Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance and released it across the console market. It reviewed well, it sold well. So someone stood up at the next Interplay meeting and said, how about we take Fallout and turn it into a real-time top-down shooter with RPG elements built in and release it on PS2 and Xbox? And... Uh, well, welcome to Fallout Brotherhood of Steel, that brings me here today. And speaking of where we are, bloody hell has this been a faff to get working, okay? This game was never ported to PC, so this is the original Xbox version. I never actually owned an original Xbox, so I had to go out and buy a refurbished one, but don't forget, the original Xbox was kind of the last point in history we were using old school TVs, so to get that thing to talk to a modern capture card, I have spent more money than I care to think about on converters, upscalers, in an attempt to make this game look as good as it can do, which is never going to be that good because the native resolution of this game was 480p. But I've done the best I can to clean it up, damn it. Still, that brings us, of course, to the big question 
Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Did it work? Was it a roaring success? I don't want to prejudge because I've never actually played this game before. This is all going to be brand new to me, but... Well, two things to keep in mind. One, shortly after this game came out, Interplay sold the Fallout IP to Bethesda for under six million dollars. And two, both Interplay and Bethesda have, over the years, released Fallout anthologies, a collection of every Fallout game that existed at the time of the release. And on both occasions, they actively chose not to include Brotherhood of Steel, this game has effectively been erased from Fallout history. To this day, it has never been ported to PC. So, the tidings don't sound spectacular, but it can't be that bad, right? Well, how about we find out together? Straight away, there are some big differences between this and the Fallout games that came before and after, which is there's no character builder in this game. Instead, you are simply selecting a character. So we've got Muscles McGee right here. He is naturally rather good at hitting people with like, you know, baseball bats and stuff. Then you've got Nadia. Nadia is the nippy fast one, not desperately interesting to be honest. But I will say, in this game's limited defense, this is, I think, the only instance in the entire Fallout franchise where you can play as a ghoul. I don't think there's any other time you get to play as a ghoul in any other Fallout game, is there? So, yes, you can play as a ghoul called Kane, whose deal is, naturally, he's good with radiation. So, you know what? We're going to be playing as Kane because I'm not turning down my one and only opportunity in this entire bloody franchise to play as a ghoul. So, okay, let's see what I'm letting myself in for here. Deep in the wasteland lies the small town of Carbon. Once a model of pleasant rural America, Carbon is a ghost town. Its people crushed by fear and strife. Carrying minimal supplies, a Brotherhood Initiate enters this troubled town. The mission begins simply. Establish contact with a group of Brotherhood Paladins. But in the Wasteland, nothing is ever that easy. I think it's definitely a bad omen that yes, there's no Ron Perlman and nobody says war never changes. That's, that's definitely a concern. Hey, back in line, slaves. I can't sell you if you're dead, but I'll shoot you in the back if you try to run. I don't want to die. As for you, insects, you better bring those supplies by tomorrow. Wait, you can't do this. We... Shut your mouth, worm, before I step on you. Yes, ma'am. All right, you gorgeous hunks, let's go. And anyone who's too drunk to walk gets left behind. Now move! Hey, where's Frank? Still in the bar. He'll catch up later. Come on. Okay, small town being played by raiders. A Fallout classic there, but um, yes, it would appear that the raiders they're being played by on this occasion, they appear to be being led by a dominatrix. And it's a bit hard to see, given, you know, old Xbox vision, but... I'm pretty confident someone had a jiggle physics right there. Like, there's definitely a hint of a jiggle going on. So you're supposed to meet some Brotherhood Paladins somewhere in this shithole town. Ask the townspeople where you can find your comrades. So, yes indeed, I'm a Brotherhood Initiate, and I need to find some more senior Brotherhood lads. The game's setting, by the way, if you're familiar with old Fallout and curious where it all fits in, is between Fallout 1 and Fallout 2 in Texas. So the NCR has started to grow, but its influence would be nowhere near Texas yet. The Brotherhood, meanwhile, in the aftermath of fighting the Master's Army at the end of Fallout 1, might be starting to stretch its wings a little bit, hence why we're seeing a few initiates and scouts down here in Texas. And here we are out in the world, and okay, I immediately am very happy with my choice playing as Kane. Because when he runs, he appears to just be letting his arms flop behind him, which is absolutely marvellous. So, yes indeed, we're still top down, as per old Fallout, but now 
the whole thing's in real time and it won't enter a turn-based combat system when we start fighting. Instead, yes, the combat's going to be more of a top-down shooter. Though, for the time being, I don't think I can actually fire anything. I do have a... I've got no weapons at all. I've just got my fists. Magnificent. But I can't actually... Yeah, I can't use them yet. So, uh, yes, indeed. We've got the lovely, lovely town of Carbon uh, right here. But... I'm pretty sure I see... Yes, that'll be uh, my quest marker. And the first NPC in the game is Ruby the Wasteland Prostitute. So, okay. Lovely to meet you. Welcome to Carbon, stranger. Most people are a little spooked because of the raiders. Some of them are busting up the bar right now. My name's Ruby. I'm what you might call an entertainer. So, okay, the raider that was identified as Frank, presumably trashing the bar right now, I'm guessing, uh, yes, dealing with him might make me some uh, local friends. Uh, but just indeed, Brotherhood soldiers. Not that you would necessarily know how to identify them, though if they're paladins, they might be wearing power armor, I suppose. Yeah, I remember seeing a bunch of people in armor. They didn't pay any attention to me, if you know what I mean. So, <laughs> I didn't pay any attention to them. Okay, what about the Dominatrix Raiders in that case? The Raiders control carbon, really. They take what they want, and sometimes people get hurt or killed. But they ain't all bad, you know. At least they know how to party. <laughs> Not like those soldiers. Okay, so... They sound real swell. I'm gonna go trade recipes with them. Okay, so my default personality is a slightly sarcastic bastard. Love it. So, uh, kill the drunken raiders. Uh, townspeople are too scared to talk to me. Makes sense, I suppose. Let's beat the hell out of some raiders uh, so they're going to be better inclined towards me. And, oh, I do enjoy being a zombie. Also, I'm glad I checked up a pit boy because apparently... I do have weapons, because yes, I can have um, three of those set at once, I can just cycle between nice and easy in combat without going into the pit boy like, uh, you know, quick select stuff. Then I've got armor, but all I've got is, um, yes, basic clothing. So, not great, to be honest. Can I take that off, by the way? I can take that off if I want to be a topless ghoul. Excellent. And apparently, I think that looks like I've got bandages over my heart. Possibly, I don't have a heart. Right there. Ooh, that could be a metaphor. So there we go. Now I've got at your weapons, though. Kind of Benotus ammo is a, a bit on the uh, low side okay. for my homemade pistol. And to be honest, my iron gloves are pretty good too. So, okay, now I'm just running around uh, flopping giant iron gloves behind me. I love it. Right, let's okay. go into the bar and teach some raiders some manners. <laughs> Come on. That'll teach you to look at me, crabhead. Hey, I'm big. Another round of your fighters. <laughs> I ain't serving you bastards a freaking thing unless I get paid for the last six rounds. Oh, crap! <laughs> we're gonna trash your place, then we're gonna kick your ass, and then we'll have another round. Okay, I cannot but notice there are several of them, and also, uh, yes, they've got guns, uh, and I don't. So, uh, okay, let's see if we can just uh, find some uh, nice isolated. There we go, lads. Uh, leave him alone. So just to go for you with my lovely iron gloves. They don't seem to be responding to me. Hello. Yes, I'm... There we go. Ooh, I think that was a crit. Okay. That was outside of the damage range. Yeah, they're supposed to do between 4 and 10. That was like 13, and it knocked him over. Stimpak, Stimpak. Yes, in this game, combat is going to be real time, and at Stimpaks, there's a dedicated button. It's on one of the shoulder buttons. Left shoulder button. Excuse me. No, 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 no. Excuse Turn around. Take him out. Oh, yeah. That's good. Right there. Then just change a target with a B. Lovely. Knock you back again. Okay, the Iron Gloves have definitely got, like, a chance of knockback, which is good. So you guys are going down and nice and easy. Lovely. Though, yes, as I say, there are people with guns. If I want to, I can spam stim packs. The red meter is my health meter. I don't know what the green meter is. Like, hopefully, I'll figure that out. Hello, you've got a gun. And that actually sort of hurt, actually. 
Let's get a gun out. Like, I've got no ammo for it. But you know what? It seems to do more damage. Hello! Right, screw you and just get round to you, please. Okay, I feel like this gun is not necessarily helping me much. And also, it's got no knockdown. So, okay, screw it. Let's just go back to punching people. Lovely. Caps and caps and more caps. But maybe not the caps you think, by the way. We'll get into why these might not be the caps you're expecting in a moment. So, armpit, are you okay? Armpit, we do have a jump. So, I can actually, you know, get over scenery. That's a revelation. Just help myself to some... No, I can't help myself to booze, dear oh dear. Do we have anybody... Hello over there. Don't mind me. Just get up to you. We can knock you down. That would be great. Oh, health is going down a little bit on the fast side. Uh, no, you don't. Excuse me. Back over to... Please stop shooting me with your guns. It's very rude. All right, just keep on spamming for the time being. I might want to be a little bit more sneaky than just running up to them with the iron boxing gloves at some point. Still, drunken raiders are dead. So that's nice right there. Good, 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 good. Everybody dead. Meaning anything more to loot? Not yet by the looksy of it. There, those raiders are a bunch of bums. Their leader is a twisted chick. He's nice on the eyes, but with a heart like a bullet. <sighs> you know? Okay, so yes, that was definitely some jiggle physics. That pretty much confirms it to my mind. I'm put at your service. What can I do for you? <sighs> so, okay, buddy, 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 buddy. Yes, indeed, before we get to actually finding my uh, compatriots, how on earth did you get the name of Armpit, or do I not want to know? <coughs> My real name is Arnold, but everyone calls me Armpit. So what? I'm just an honest guy selling rot gut liquor to the sad schmucks in this town. But I got plans, see? Big plans. Ooh, I want to know about your plans. Can we work together to make money? See? I got this recipe for booze using fermented red scorpion poison. I got the gear to make this stuff. <coughs> The contacts to distribute it, but no poison. <laughs> so, partner, for every red scorpion tail you bring me, <clears throat> I'll pay you a few caps. Okay, we got ourselves a deal. Brilliant. I got me a partner. There's red scorpions all over the place, but the warehouse is a sure bet. <coughs> The mayor out in the square can help you get in there. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give this game a small half bonus point for actually having, you know, little submissions you can pick up from speaking to NPCs and asking after their lives. You get half a fallout point. Okay, the soldiers. Have you seen the soldiers? <clears throat> there were some fellas a few weeks back. They talked to the mayor, then I guess they took off. I don't know. Mayor's out in the town square if you want him. <coughs> okay, speak to the mayor. He can get me Rad Scorpion access for money, which might be useful given, as I say, I feel like I desperately need better guns and ammo. The fists aren't going to be doing the job for long. And two, he might have seen the soldiers. Oh, and very exciting. I've had my first level up. So yes, I suppose a bit like Fallout 4, this game doesn't have uh, skills in the same way that skills exist elsewhere in the Fallout franchise, even though this is uh, the skills page instead. Uh, yeah, these work more like Fallout 4 perks by the Luke of it. So uh, yeah, I could just choose to invest two points in any of these skills. Though some of them you need to save up for or have a required level for. Gotcha. So some of these are, yes, elite super stuff. Though, ooh... That'll be your special ability, Kane. So, radiation damage starts healing me. I like it. Though, yes, that's um, a bit of a way off, apparently. Oh, I tell you what, I'm a sucker for a critical hit. Let's take Slayer, apparently boosts uh, critical hit chance. So, yep, we'll be taking that. Lovely. All right, back outside, and yeah, feels like uh, the town's starting to uh, liven up a bit. We've got people represented by exclamation marks, which has got to be a good sign. Doctor, excellent. Do need stim packs. I don't know who you are, but I'm glad you're here to help us. My name is Vidya. I guess I'm the town doctor. If you're hurt, I can heal you at no charge. 
Okay, now that, that's a good flipping deal. And uh, yes, indeed. Brother of Steel Soldiers, I'm guessing you're just pointing me towards the mayor, right? I remember hearing about some soldiers in a town a few weeks back, but I never saw them. Maybe you should talk to the mayor. Okay, few weeks back though. Gotcha, so uh, trail might be a bit cold. I used to belong to a group called the Followers of the Apocalypse, but that didn't work out. I have some medical training, so now I'm helping these people. Okay, that's interesting. She's sort of indicating that something went wrong with her relationship with the Followers, who generally are pretty bloody chill in the Fallout universe, so... Okay, might be worth seeing whether, yes, eventually she's going to spit out some backstory related to the followers all the way over in California from Fallout 1. This game is, by the way, slightly hardcore, though kind of more by technology than design, which is, if you want to save, it's got to be done at a designated save point. Die, and you go back to the most recent one. Though, that's just how games used to be, to be honest. But these days, we'd call that survival mode and treat it to some elite super difficulty. Oh, and this'll do. Wasteland trader, buddy. I need a gun. Either you're a ghoul or someone set fire to your face and put it out with a rake. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jesse, the trader here in Carbon. Okay, that is not a good opening line if you want me to spend all my money at your shop. Okay, the 41 caps I just got for, uh, yes, clearing out the bar. Let's just say we're going to be needing a lot more before we're moving up in the world. Though, ooh, I like the look of those gloves. And they're not that pricey either. Okay, go and find some rad scorpion tails. Sell them to Watts' face. That'll be marvellous, though. Oh, yes. Um, okay. So, earlier, during our little campfire story, you may recall me mentioning that Interplay was skirting with bankruptcy. Um, yes, just so you understand uh, how close they were to it, this game has product placement in it. The caps you're collecting are not Nuka-Cola caps. They are instead caps of uh, Balls uh, Energy Drink. Now, uh, we don't have that in the UK, and I don't think we ever did. But apparently in the US, you might like still have this in some territories, I don't know. But yes, this was an energy drink back in the time around 2004 when this came out. And uh, yes, they literally just gave into play money to put advertising in the game. That's, um, that's how bloody desperate Interplay were at that point. All right, Mr. Mayor, I think we've got ourselves a plan. You get me access to rad scorpions and or raiders. I murder them, take their stuff, trade it for better weapon. Sounds like a plan to me. Well, I guess you're the stranger everyone's talking about. Somehow I expected more. I'm uh, Richard, the mayor of Carbon. I appreciate your help in dealing with the raiders, but it can only lead to more trouble. Ah, yes indeed. So far, they've just been basically giving the raiders whatever they wanted. Fighting back, they don't think is actually their best option. So, okay. If your only job is to placate the raiders and to surrender to them, are you like the negotiator, if you will? I'm the mayor of Carbon. Beyond that, it's none of your business. Okay, he's not very talkative right now. Oh, what if I start threatening him? Screw it, let's see how much of an asshole I'm allowed to be. Hmm. I don't converse with garbage. Goodbye. Okay, he just took the high ground right there. I respect that. Screw it, I'm just going to keep swearing at you. You... You're a ghoul. I, I didn't know, please. I, I meant no offense. Take these. Just, just don't touch me. Oh, okay, that just got me caps, though apparently he didn't realise till right this moment that I was a ghoul, which, okay, questionable that he wouldn't have realised that. You, buddy, you could do with a pair of glasses by the sounds of it. But you know what? We're cool. I'm not going to eat your brains today. Though I am still going to need to know about the uh, Brotherhood. Yes. Brotherhood? Yes, I spoke with one of your paladins. Maybe I can help you, if you're willing to help us in return. Our supply warehouse is infested with rad scorpions. Clear them out, and I'll tell you more. Alright buddy, you got yourself a deal, especially as 
I already know who I'm selling the tails to. Oh, and there we go. A flashing plus sign presumably means a current mission go through this door over here. Oh, and I figured out what the green bar is for. And the way I did it may just surprise you, which is I went and read the instruction booklet because this was in the era when games came in boxes from shops and they had little booklets in them that told you how to play the game. So very often the game didn't bother explaining it because it was in the instruction booklet. So, okay, I just kind of assumed green meant radiation, but no, it's experience. I'm currently in warehouse main storage at Rad Scorpions 25. Okay, hopefully they're less scary than Rad Scorpions are to low level characters in Fallout 1. Or Fallout 3. Basically all the Fallouts. Generally Rad Scorpions are a little bit scary at low levels. So, 20 bloody 5. Okay, mildly disconcerting. Hello over there. Right, we just need to give you a punch. Okay, if we can just isolate your buddy, it's all going to be a-okay. Oh, there's definitely significant knockback on this. In fact, okay, hang on. Is this a function of weight or something? Because I was not knocking back raiders this much. And Oh, they're fighting each other. Okay, there's different critters. Okay, that's fine. I am willing to... Blimey, I just punched you right out of the tail. Okay, if there's uh, that many rad scorpions, 10 per tail. Okay, you know what? I'm enjoying this here glove, though. Okay, this might get a bit nasty because I don't actually have, like, you know, any form of uh, splash right now. Okay, I need to take you out. Get away. Then if we can just deal with you before your friend comes back, change target. Okay, I'm enjoying the ridiculous levels of knockback. Oh, I wonder if that's crit. Like, I did take the Slayer perk. Maybe crit means uh, not back and, uh, oh, flip me. I am swimming in tails right now. Oh, I've also discovered a new trick. I've got myself a lovely little dodge, roll, dodge, forward uh, sort of a thing. So, okay. Once I've locked onto someone, I can start doing some of that. So, uh, let's just find ourselves a, presumably, kind of hoping for a, ooh, Bullets. That's just as good, actually. Okay, here we go. So there's you. So punch, punch, punch. Oh, yeah. And then just roll into you. Roll away. Rolling. Get behind you. And admittedly kind of end up completely in the wrong position. Go, go, go. Then just roll away. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So it's all about the dodging. Now, as far as I'm aware, there's no, like heavy attack or light attack and there's no aim shot or anything there is a one and a only one attack button you tap a you do some there's a rail yard was i aware there was a rail yard okay excuse me we just need to beat you up for a second okay but more excitingly next to the slightly fourth wall breaking yes art for the original fallout game we've got ourselves a, a spiked baseball bat now that was in the store for like 500 caps. Okay, so unless that's just massively slower, that is just objectively better than the gloves. In fact, oh wow, well, that's that's a lot better. Okay, so we're going over to that. Hang on, scorpion friends. Need to find new scorpion friends. Uh, hello, lads. I've got a new toy for you. And oh, here we go. 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 And oh yeah. Oh yeah. And we've still got the knockback too. Lovely. Oh, and a big bunch of caps too. Just got 48 in one go. So, okay. We're making money fast here. Just good weapons are floating around. Excellent. Tails coming in. By the time we're done with, uh, yeah, just this first floor, we are going to be swimming in supplies. Just grab you, grab you. Everybody in one at a time. They all seem to be... Uh, hang about. Did I just do two hits in one there? I feel like I just did two hits in one. And if I did, then... Oh, there's also rats. I think this might have, like, a double hit effect on it. And oh, blimey, okay. There's also rats, but we are just annihilating them. That's definitely doing two hits in one. I mean, entirely possible. It's a complete bug. We just don't bloody know. It could be, you know, just grab the money. I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm mainly doing this for... There we go. There's the level up because the green bar goes over. Perfect. So we are leveling up. We are getting somewhere now. Bonus chance for crit. 
bonus health. Ah, would need to save up for that. And okay, they get progressively more expensive. So I can't take more Slayer. Next level, uh, plus five points to armor. Kind of depends what armor means. Do you mean like percentage damage reduction or a point of damage reduction? Or maybe you just mean dodge because sometimes in old RPG speak, armor class kind of just means a dodge chance. It's hard to bloody say. Oh, I'll tell you what. First aid. In this game, I feel like, yes, you're going to be healing an awful bloody lot, like, all the time. So, the ability to spam the heals a bit more effectively. That's not going to hurt. Okay, and I can check how I'm doing by going over to the quest log. So, okay. Currently in main storage, no rad scorpions remaining. But I've also picked up, hang about, not just the tails, but also... Medical supplies, sorry, I think I was in the middle of a fight and I just picked something up while I was hammering the attack with baseball bat button. So okay, only door I see remaining now is uh, town rail yard. Need a key. Okay, maybe go back to the mayor and see, oh no, I know who's going to have that, it's going to be the doctor. She's going to trade that for the medical supplies. You found my medical supplies, thank you. Oh, here, a reward, and a little something extra to help you if you get into trouble. Okay, presumably she's referring to uh, the caps there. Though to be honest, I'm mainly into this for the XP. Well, stranger, how goes your bug hunting? Okay, hang about. Apparently we're not done yet. There must be something I've missed in the warehouse. Still, while I'm outside, uh, over to the shop, and back over to Armpit. You've been busy hunting rad scorpions, huh? That's great. Here's a few caps for each tail. <coughs> Keep them coming. Good to be honest, I don't necessarily enjoy speaking to this man. He does too much, you know, hacking and coughing and whatnot. Hey, stranger. I was wondering, could you help me find Mr. Pussy? Okay, this, this, this just took a turn. My cat, Mr. Pussy. I haven't seen him in days. Sometimes he goes down into the nasty hole next to the bar. Can you find him for me? Okay, that's... That's not necessarily what I was expecting to... Okay, you know what? Sure. I will find Mr. Pussy. It's, it's gonna be fine. Okay, when she says the hole next to the bar... Presumably, it she means... Car. Here we go. Crater upper level... Won't work. Needs a key. Okay, we'll come back later, by the sounds of it. Back to the warehouse, I need to find more bloody scorpions. Ah, but not before selling all the iron gloves. Do not need them anymore. Just the baseball bat is so much better. Okay, we could also do a whole bunch of... Blimey, that's expensive. Okay, I could get some armor. Or I could get some weapons. Now I've already got 13 to 19. So at this point the spike gloves feel just objectively worse despite costing more. Maybe they've got other benefits like piercing or something but for the time being yeah none of this is really doing the job. Then again you know what I could buy a better gun. It uses the same ammo type so basically yeah just 8 to 14 not bad for ranged, to be honest, if I needed a gun. Or I buy myself, yeah, some nice armor. I feel like a nice gun is not going to hurt. So we will take that and then I will sell you my homemade pistol. Because I feel like we do not need that if we've got an objectively better gun. Okay, the loadout's getting somewhere. Ah, here we go. Right at the back. There is, okay, beyond main storage... Auxiliary storage, but when the storage just isn't good enough. You know, the items that aren't worthy of being put into main storage. And we've got ourselves uh, another 23 rad scorpions. Okay, this might at some point become a little bit of a slog, which, as I understand it, was a, a thing in this game. It might get a bit enemy happy and not enough anything else happy. We've also got ourselves, uh, okay, crates in the way can't get to the nest. Need to move uh, the crane or so. Uh, 
Okay, I'm a ghoul. I know I can't heal from rads, but can I just... Okay, I'm still taking a tiny amount of rad damage. Okay, a bit of rad damage, actually, though. Ooh, hang on. Can I punt you into, yeah, the rads in order to do damage? Okay, that's kind of cool, if that's a thing. So line him up, send him back. Didn't quite get in, unfortunately. Go, go. Okay, you taking damage over time. All right, just check. Because generally, you know, mutated creatures shouldn't take rad damage. But on the other hand, I shouldn't be taking rad damage. And I am. I'm not sure he was taking damage, to be honest. I think he actually is truly immune. I'm just apparently not very good at being a ghoul. So I feel like I should definitely be immune to... Please stop spawning mice at me. I can one-shot you. It's fine. Gosh darn it, they've stopped spawning. I was kind of hoping they'd keep going forever because, uh, yes, I was sort of uh, looking forward to infinite XP for just standing here and uh, doing my own business. And hello there, lads. Don't mind me. And oh yeah, that's that's the stuff. Oh, hello. You're different. You're like uh, yeah, a glowy one or something. Still, you didn't sting me, so that's all absolutely fine. And we've got... My gamer senses are tingling. They say I should shoot that barrel. So, okay, hang about. In a second, I should shoot that barrel. Go! Go! Well, this is all very embarrassing. Okay, you need to lock onto it. Okay. So, explosive barrels, uh, you need to lock onto. Blimey, that was... That was very embarrassing for Kay. This is just a bad day for him in general. So yeah, in this game, Rads, if you get exposed to them at all, you start taking a tiny bit of uh, damage over time. Now, the question is, can I cause this to explode by hitting it with a bat? I can, but I shouldn't. Maybe this here, this is what the gun is for. Use my gun to detonate explosive barrels. All right, be a badass all the rest of it. Large enemies, uh, maybe... There we go, 15 remaining. They are going down nice and fast, because just obviously combat is very, very fast in this game, given, you know, you don't stop to do turn-based combat for every enemy. So it's not actually as many as it sounds. It sounds like a ridiculous number of enemies, and it would be an old Fallout, but actually, yeah, I suppose you probably find this many enemies all the time in, say, Fallout 3 or whatnot, and... Okay. Hey, guys. Do you want to follow me? Do you want to follow me? And... Boom! Oh, ho, ho. that's never going to stop. I should have saved that for you. You were the queen mouse. Also, I should really stop taking out these rats. I'm not even getting paid for this. All right, actually, hang on, am I? I mean, I know Armpit just wants the rat scorpion tails. Does the mayor expect me to deal with rats too? Because I think he just said rat scorpion, so I could just leave the rats. Okay, I'm seeing windows here. I can shatter, and I can clearly see... Yes, downstairs to another area, but... This is not the way to get to that. We need to loop around to a different door by the Luxia things. Oh, right, yes, I see. This is the shipping container that was mentioned at the beginning. So, uh, this needs to be moved. Uh, that gets me through that door, then down into uh, the nest. Where I'm guessing the source of the problem is. Right, I'm seeing uh, scorpions already paying attention to me, but as long as there's only one at a time, we should be fine. If it gets... Oh, hello! There's a person back here. Don't worry, buddy. I gotcha. No trouble. Hello. Who are you? I can't speak to you. Okay, what if I just, like, open a path for you to, to get out? Feel free to leave any time you want to, but I'm not carrying you. All right, this one's up to you. I enjoy the knockback. The knockback actually feels uh, pretty satisfying. Like in many games, uh, melee weapons, uh, you just feel like, you know, you're waving in vaguely the enemy's direction. They take a certain amount of damage. This bat actually feels uh, like it's got a bit of power to it, which is kind of nice. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm about to be badass. So, go. Lock on. That was the wrong thing to lock on. Cocking out, okay, Kane. You completely ruined being a badass. Damn it. Okay, another floor clear, but apparently beyond auxiliary storage, there's a second floor, whatever that is. So, okay, definitely starting to feel a, a bit of a slog here. Okay, there's only nine here, it's fine. Okay, this time, this time, definitely badass, and boom, flipping. He's not actually dead, but okay, he's about to be dead. He's not about to be dead. Kind of thought the fire would kill him, but that's fine. We're okay, those guys generate a cloud of radiation. 
when they die. Seriously, Kane, you are literally a ghoul. The one reason I was playing with you was so you'd be resistant to bloody... Why aren't you dying? There we go, that mouse died. The one reason I'm playing with you is a resistance to rads sounded kind of cool. Oh, but I see good news. End of this area. That is definitely a crane. And a handful more scorpions too. Just go over to pistol for those guys. You can do a little bit more reliable damage there. Just one more to go. Don't waste ammo on a basic rat. Jump over the top of you. Grab that. Lovely. Right, where's the last... Oh, John. The last one might be um a little bit bigger, potentially. Then again, actually, no. Whatever's in the nest, that's down in the basement. There's... Okay. Kill the remaining rad scorpions. Yes, but we haven't killed these ones yet. Work in progress, game. There we go. That's these ones dead. Much better. And the final few rats push me over to the level up. Perfect timing, because... Uh, Yes, indeed. There's going to be something nasty down in the basements. Especially as... Ooh. Okay. That was odd. I just broke a thing there. Why? What was the purpose of that? Okay, that might have opened something up. I'm not sure. Okay, got to the end, and I think I picked myself up a fair bit of equipment, but none of it's going to be better than what I've got, I'm assuming. Yeah, I got spike gloves and a combat knife, but next to, yeah, any of this. Then again, is it maybe swing speeds? See, I can swing this like that, and this could be... That doesn't feel that much faster to me, to be honest, no. Ah, but okay, I just picked up four skill points, not two. So, okay. The skill points also rise over time, so you can fund more advanced perks or loads of cheap ones. So, alright. Die Hard, giant pile of bonus health, probably... How much do I have right now? I've got 300. Okay, so that doesn't feel like such a giant pile of health, to be honest, no. You know what? I'm gonna take gun skill. Because I feel like sooner or later, small guns is always gonna be bloody useful. So, we're gonna take that... And I'm going to take Eagle Eye as well. So yes, my lock-on can hit slightly further. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm just trying to run back to the basement, or to be precise, the shop to sell all my loot. But the area is completely repopulated. There are now so many mice here again. And we could go into, yes, the secret nest. But we're not doing that. Why would we do that when I can get myself tacked up first? 300 caps from Mr. Armpit. And then I found myself, yes, two more Berettas in there. Don't need any of that because, yes, I believe Nadi can do wield. I sadly cannot. So let's just get rid of all of this too. 1,700 caps. Okay. Now. Now, 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 now. Let's go talking about... Oh, yeah, that's, that's looking a bit better, isn't it? Beretta does 8 to 14 per hit, but the hunting rifle, which I can just afford, does oh, oh so much better. Alright, I think we'll be taking that, and as it actually uses the same ammo type as the Beretta, basically screw the Beretta. And use that to fund one helmet. Brilliant. And there it is on my person. Spectacular. Okay, you know what? Bring it on. Oh, bloody hell, they regenerated again. They regenerate constantly. Also, there doesn't, um, there doesn't appear to be, like, a reload function in this game. Didn't really notice that before, but I just seem to be, yes, firing 210 bullets in a row out of this gun if that's what I want to do, which feels odd, but okay. Okay, as I suspected, very, very big rad scorpion thing. Down in the basement, that'll be the brood mother, something of that nature. So, okay, let's, 
Let's get out a really big gun. You're supposed to kill the rad scorpions. That includes this mother flipper. It can shield itself using its claws. Destroy the claws. Okay. That's not so much a hint as the solution, but I'll take it. So, okay. Spiked baseball bat. Gotcha. Where is the big old girl? We gotta break them claws. Maybe help myself to some spare ammo if we can. And remember, I have got stim packs. Spam them if need be. Seriously, where's the... Very dramatic... There we go. Very dramatic boss music is playing. And just need to break. Get near enough by to break this. Use the stim packs. I haven't really needed to so far. And we just need to... There we go. That's that taken care of. Right, well, now you're in trouble. Now you're in flipping trouble. Just keep spamming the stim packs. Oh, yeah. We can just back off. If need be, just, yeah, do a little dive out the way. And, yep, there we go. There we go. No! I think he just hit me anyway. That's... In all fairness, I think now I've bought the hunting rifle. I think I can just... No, you don't. I can just straight up out. How are you? Screw you, you stupid loser. I'm going to, you know, do some... Oh, that was actually a dodge. I did a dodge. I did a badass. Then I missed that time. One last dodge. Go! Okay, it wasn't really a dodge, but it was a jump. All right, buddy, your rad scorpion problems are over. Not your rad rat problems, though. Those bastards keep coming back faster than I could deal with them. But you didn't ask me to do that, so that's on you. Excellent. Well, a deal is a deal. The Brotherhood Paladins went down into the crater at the edge of town. Here's the key to our little uh, elevator. And there we go. We can now access a brand new area. Yep, right here. Down into the crater upper level, which suggests the existence of, say, a crater lower level. And also, oh yes, don't forget, the single most important thing going on down in this bit of the world, uh, we need to locate Mr. Pussy. But I am most definitely not alone down here. We've got corpses, we've got signs of human habitation. Someone else lives down in this area, though potentially could have been my brotherhood friends uh, that killed that person. We do not know yet, but I would say that's enough for now. This here is Brotherhood of Steel and... Uh, oh, blimey. Right, we're going to be uh, seeing just how this all goes over the next few weeks. And when I say few weeks, I really do mean, uh, yes, a rather small number of weeks, actually. This game was uh, notoriously short and uh, fairly linear, so uh, it is not going to take us very long to get this campaign knocked out. But... What I will say is, if you were, you know, coming into this expecting the greatest disaster in the history of gaming, you know, bury this in the desert next to all the cartridges of E.T., it's not that. To be honest, actually, there are good bits. Like, the weapons do feel nice and chunky. The physics is actually pretty good, all things considered. It doesn't feel like the other Fallout games, but then again, Fallout 3 doesn't feel like 2 and 4 doesn't feel like 3. This is always a franchise that's changed and evolved, so... Okay, it's not great, but it's not a disaster either. So could I actually come away from Fallout Brotherhood of Steel thinking, you know what, that's not as bad as people say it is. Join me next week to find out. Hopefully you are looking forward to that. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. Thank you very much and goodbye. Ah, we have got a gate key here, and then we have got ourselves- I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! I've made a mistake! This is gonna take all of my skill and cunning as a hunter to sort out- DIE YOU MOVING BASTARDS! DIE! DIE! Go, go away. Go away, nobody likes you. That was a good idea till it wasn't.